Hello everybody and welcome to Big Dylan Games. My name is Dylan and today I have a little bit of a special thing here. So the first thing is, is we're going to get by with this plot right here in the beginning. Put my headphones on here. Very nice. Welcome. This is the Sulfur Bottom. A giant humongous ship. Ooh, look at those polygons! No, but seriously though, that does look like an interesting design. It kind of reminds me of the... Uh, I, I, it reminds me of Star Trek. I don't know what the name is, sorry! Uh, the Enterprise, sorry. Barrel? Yes? I was thinking we should get started soon. But we should. Hard to believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. What were they thinking? Leaving their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place. It looks comfy. to turn back now I've spent my entire life working toward this I can't turn back Mr. Werner von Blucher Mr. Werner von Blucher that time already well then I'll go on ahead all right Mr. Werner von Blucher Mr. Werner von Blucher please report to I guess Roll decided not to come then oh yes she's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does after all, she's been looking for it all her life. I've always been fond of Roll, you know that. But all's fair in love and war. If they were gonna find the mother load, why didn't they just go with them? And I'll, I'll explain a little bit later on what the mother load actually is. It was defined in the first game, if nobody caught it. Nothing to report, sir. Keep your eyes wide open. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island... Why do you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? Ugh, flashes. Sorry. You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. You got it. We'll try not to make a fool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Yeah, let's not take mine to the big giant robot in the back there. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stop it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Ah! <laughs> no, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra cash to make ends meet. Oh, the air conditioner. Only what you like. Maybe you wouldn't be in this fix. <laughs> Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? <laughs> you are, no squabbling till the job's finished. Remember, Tizo? Tizo. As I'm sure all of you are aware, no one has succeeded in landing on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Barrel and myself. Thirty years ago, Professor Barrel and I journeyed to that island and returned. Over the years, we've been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves, but now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. How is that forbidden? It looks beautiful. It looks comfy and cozy. It's like, oh, it looks so comfy. I just want to go there. Hmm. 
Mega Man has feet? Wait, is he a person? Like an actual human? Cool. Breakfast ready. I made the eggs just the way you like them. What? Hey, look, it's Gramps. Huh? I'm confused. I'm so confused. The mother load can't be found that easily. Come now, roll. Eat your 2D eggs. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the mother load, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island. This ends my presentation. Thank you. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes? Uh-oh. Has your research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? That's a good question. Personally, I believe it to be something of tremendous importance to mankind. Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps a new energy source, more powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. Well, I think... Matilda! You, you're alive! Uh -oh. Has it occurred to you that this great lost treasure might not be what you think it is? Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Gap! Yes. Catastrophe? Child? What do you mean, Matilda? Mega Man, did you see that? That woman. She was my mother. Huh? But how? Why? My mother wouldn't do anything like that, would she? Let's find out. W what? Let's just go there and we can find out for ourselves. But it's the only way to be sure, you know. Oh, I guess you're right. Hmm, let's go. All right. I'll get changed, then get the engine started. Can you clean up the dishes for me? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, how does Mega Man put on his suit? Does he, like, do something like... Uh, uh, I'm just kind of spitballing here, but does he, like... Swap out his heads or something? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why is my control not working? Uh-oh. Okay, I guess my control was not actually plugged in, I guess. Uh, well, anyways, uh, that was quite a lot of exposition, especially for, like, what was it, like, five minutes, six minutes or something? That's quite a lot to take in. So anyways, welcome to Mega Man Legends 2. Now, I'll kind of explain a little bit on some of the stuff that goes on and kind of the background on here. But if you haven't checked out my Mega Man 64 playthrough, I suggest taking a look at that. Because it kind of does 
uh, show some things that happened before this and um, I would definitely give it a look but anyways Mega Man Legends if nobody knows is one of if not my most favorite uh, video game franchises and purely off of nostalgia like I love Mega Man Legends I grew up with it playing the Nintendo 64 version and I've just loved it ever since and then when I actually got the opportunity to play Mega Man Legends 2, which is, well, now, you know, I, I'm actually really happy to be able to come back and try this game and to get to continue a little more. Uh, 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 Data! <laughs> oh, hey, Data, you're a kind of in the way, you know? Data! <laughs> Thanks, but could you sit still? Oh! <laughs> Data. Data, please, get rolled back. Boy, Mega Man, I'm disappointed. I thought you were braver than this. You can do it. Come on, Mega Man. Yay. Data, you stay out of Mega Man's way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that he's just wearing a suit. Everything's in working order. At this speed, we should catch up to Gramps any time now. Boy, that new engine sure is something. Completely different from the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I'll take over. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Data, it's almost lunchtime. Can you get everything ready? Okay, okay, okay. The, I had to turn that fan off just because of the uh, uh, whatnot Thank you. for the uh, vocals or whatnot. It's hot in here. Down before and uh -huh. I was thinking, what would I do if they find the mother load? I guess I got a little scared. Scared? Why? I've been searching for the mother load because I thought if I found her, I'd be able to see my parents again. I guess. I was just fooling myself. I've got to accept reality. Face the facts. They are gone. Both of them are gone. Oh. But still, when you said we should go see for ourselves, I remembered something my mother told me a long time ago. She said a digger should never give up hope. Right. My mom... And my dad and the mother load. I won't. I won't give up on them yet. That's the spirit. We'll find him, Rule. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Mega Man, what should we do once we catch up with Gramps' ship? Uh. So this is interesting because this is the first one that had like dialogue options. I mean, it's not much of like actual dialogue. It's just kind of information to give some stuff uh can we land on that island the flutter can't get through the wind surrounding forbidden island we'll need a special ship if we want to land there my father once designed a special kind of flying ship called a drop ship i'm pretty sure we could use it to get there um was that really your mother she does look a lot like my mother but i can't believe my own mother would do something like that. I wonder who she is. Um, where are my weapons? I'm really sorry, Mega Man. I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid oh. I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. You sold my weapons? You. Oh, well. At least I can find them again, I suppose. I'll get back to you on that. God, it's really hot in here. Roll, do you smell something burning? Speaking of hot. <laughs> Data! <laughs> I'll go see what's wrong. Wait, Mega Man, take this with you. What? what? What is it? It's a fire extinguisher. I'll tell you more later. Okay, back me up. Yeah, speaking of hot. Uh. You know how to use your fire extinguisher, right? Uh. No. 
shoot water by pressing the triangle or the s square button. Water will keep flowing as long as you keep pressing the button. But if you hold down the button too long, your water pressure will drop, and you won't be able to use it for a while. R2 is your lock-on button. You can use it to target the fires. Do you want me to tell No! I don't want you to tell me again. Thank you, Roll, but please, no. No! <laughs> Damn it! Shoot. Okay. Okay, then. Good luck. Just... Okay, so, uh, uh oh, uh, put out the fires and save data. Mission start. Let's go. Pretty simplistic. It's not much of a tutorial because the tutorial is separate. Um, unlike before. Uh, which way do I go? I also have to get con used to these controls. Yeah, because I've not actually gotten used to this. I'm more used to the controls on the N64 than I am on the PlayStation. Data, why did you burn that? Why are you trying to burn the flutter down? And I can't move while firing the hose. Uh oh. That's a lot of fire. Oh. Come now, come now, come now. Oh! Data! You trying to cook? What are you doing? <laughs> What is it? This one? No? I think this one. It's hot in here! Ah. <laughs> I got away from my water pressure. I'm hurrying! The water doesn't go away! Data! Data! Stop moving! Why do I have to be like this? Ow! Ow! <laughs> you little turd! There you go. Whew. Should we do it? We did it. We did it. Mission complete. All right. Mega Man, we're here. We've caught up with Grant's ship. All right. This is your live update. Although the Sulphur Bottom's hull was damaged in the attack by a mysterious woman, the damage has been repaired. We expect it to enter the maelstrom surrounding Forbidden Island any time. Preparations are complete. The crew ready. The Sulphur Bottom is gathering speed, preparing to penetrate the cloud of mystery surrounding Forbidden Island. Following the attack hours ago, we were all asked to disembark and return to our ship, where we stand watching Von Blooper embark on his greatest adventure. And what may be humanity's greatest adventure? Will he succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final check complete. We can get underway whenever you're ready, sir. Understood. Well then, everyone, are you ready? We won't let anything get in the way of a story. We're not like those wimpy TV reporters. You're really going to go through with this? Yes, I am. Let's... I have to. I guess let's do it. If you're going to do it, then do it. I mean, we've come this far, right? Thank you, Baron. All right, then, let's go. Main engines online. Main engines! Online. Set course for the center of the island. Engage. Let's go. Looks like they're intent on ignoring my warning. Weapons activated. Remember, I don't want them hurt. Understood. Well, who's in that little ship? The stabilizers on this. Or is it just a reaver bot? You can hardly feel the wind. 
Unidentified object approaching from above at high speed, sir. Activate defense grid. No one will stop me. Not now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Vaughn. Order the Drakes to go to yellow alert and stand by. Drakes? Now you've really done it. Apologies, Mr. Suna. We should retreat. They probably won't crash for a while, at least. I'd hope to stop them before they got this far. Well, wait a minute. But, oh, it, oh, oh, okay. Rolf, the sulfur bob is being sucked into that storm. <gasps> Graham. What should we do? We can't take the flutter in there. And we're almost out of fuel. We'll have to set down on a nearby island. We can figure out what to do then. Okay. So that that's confusing. I'm trying to figure out like what uh, Okay. There's not much we can do to help Gramps from the air. I wonder if there isn't a way to land on that island and get to Blucher's ship that way. And then it hit me. Look at this. This is a dropship. A ship my father designed years ago, especially for landings in rough atmospheres. If we use this, we should be able to land on Forbidden Island. Gramps always told me never to build a dropship, but still, this is an emergency. I know he'll understand. Right, Mega Man? First, though, we need to go to a junk shop to get some parts to build it. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay, so that's interesting because, um... Hang on a second. What is it? I want to save. Memory card slot one. Thank you. So, I, I kind of have having a little bit of a hard time trying to understand a little bit on that because, like, you needed the sulfur bottom in order to get into the atmosphere or to drink to just bust through that place. But now you need like a special ship in order to get in there. And they just kind of floated down there. I would expect something like full thrusters at full speed. And you just slam right into it. And then you just kind of penetrate the clouds. But no, it just kind of you know, went right over the clouds. Didn't even bother. So anyways, ain't no way you can do a dig. Not with a body like that. Who'd take care of Maria if you get hurt? Don't go, Joe. Maria's been good to me, but I've got to do this. You're a pretty good mechanic, right? You can earn a good living fixing people's stuff. Maybe you just settle down for a while. Take it easy, you know? I'd assume that I'm talking... I'm the bearded guy at this point. If something happens to me, you look after Maria and her daughter, okay? See ya. Wait, Joe! <sighs> They never listen. That person. I feel like I know him. Like I've met him somewhere before. Really? Yeah. A long time ago. Hi there. Looking for something? Um, yes, we are.
Do you have any parts that could be used to build the machine in this diagram? Huh? Well, I'll be. Are you two friends of Joe's? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why? Well, it's just that I've seen this before, in his lab. You know, the little shed near the flying ship dock? That's his lab. Joe's working on something that looks just like this there. Ugh. I have my door closed and my cats are trying to get in here. Mega Man, that means this Joe must know my father has got to go... I've got to go talk to him now. Roll, wait! Um, I don't think I have any money. Hey, uh, can you sell me something? You want to know about Joe? That's what we call him, but he's lost his memory, see? No one knows who he really is or where he came from. Not even Maria, who takes care of him. Maria? She's probably at the bar, but shouldn't you go after your friend? <clears throat> uh, well, yes. Actually, I should. Thank you very much for telling me. Um. I think as opposed to directions, I think that this game has a little more of a sense of direction. Perhaps on just telling you where to go. Um, but... I can't really tell you if it's better or worse than the first game. I think it's better than the first game, but it is kind of just more uh, kind of like, oh, do this, do that. Mega Man, I was thinking, what if there's more than just the dropship schematics? What if there's something else of my father's here? Something that could lead me to him. But what if he's already dead? I don't know what I'd do if I found out he's dead. Don't worry, he's alive. Who knows, he might be dead. It's kind of presumptuous to give me two of these options here. Just saying, who knows, he might be dead. Or... Don't worry, he's alive. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, eeny, meeny, money, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Who knows? I guess it's best if I don't get my hopes up. Okay. Maybe I should wait after a talk with... <laughs> Mega Man? I was thinking... What if there's more than just this drop <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? But what if he's already dead? I don't know what I'd do if I found out he's dead. So it's like, tell her yes, he's alive, or tell her no, and you can't move forward. I don't know, but yes. Thanks, Mega Man. Can't give up hope, right? Alright then, let's go. But why did it give me that option to say no? That's that's really messed up. Mega Man. <clears throat> it's just like the blueprint. Maybe my father is here somewhere. Who are you? Uh, if you're looking for my dad, he's not here. He went to the ruin. Dad? You mean Joe? That's my dad. Well, he will be soon anyway. Mom says once he goes to the Forbidden Island and comes back, he'll be my dad. I know it's a woman, but I'm like, I can't do the little female voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Say, is there anyone named Casket living here? No, I've never heard of anyone named Casket. What? But what does that mean, Mega Man? I was so sure he was here. Let's find Joe and talk to him. He can probably answer your questions. Who's Caskin? I guess you're right. This is the closest I've gotten to my parents. Come on. So who... Wait, who's Casket? Also, this camera angle is not doing it for me. I already told you. My dad's gone to the ruins. So wait, where am I going again? I will say this, load times are definitely better 
than what they were in the uh, N64 version. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll save. Yep. Thanks, Data. I know it's... Yeah, I always said Data. But it's Data. It's like, come on. Can I get to the, some actual gameplay? I mean, that was the thing, too, about the first game. Is that it gave you, like stuff to do at the very beginning so it really kicked you off with a bang as opposed to this where it's kind of like uh, talk to some people talk to them uh get get some information it's hard loving a man who's lost his memory he's lost his memory but something still calls to him from forbidden island it's been ten years since I found him, collapsed on the edge of town. He can't remember anything, but he can't stay away from that island either. My daughter's taken to, to him as well. We've given him a home and love, but he still can't stay away from Forbidden Island. It's hard loving a man who lost his memory. Okay. She looks sober, but she's had a few, so don't pay too much attention to her. Oh, boy, thank you. Hmm? No, actually. Wait, Zenny? Is that money? What's on TV? <gasps> oh, I'm on TV! I'm on TV! Oh, that's cool, actually. I never quite looked... I never, I never seen that. And it's just playing the same thing on loop, but that's pretty cool. All right, out the door. Whew, goodness gracious. It is actually blazing hot in here. I wish it was like in the environment out here where it's nice and snowy. I love the cold, by the way, if anybody didn't know about that. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for right now. Uh, mechanic notes. There's a lot of difficult words in it. Maybe Roll can figure out what it says. So we'll find out some more stuff that we can do and what our next mission is hello snowman do you have a pot on your head uh um sorry <laughs> i didn't want to do that okay um, so I'm going to try to figure out some other story stuff on here and how I can best like explain what to do. But first, do you know the legend of the goddess? No. Two goddesses, the same yet different. One goddess to rule the heavens above, one to rule the earth below. She of the earth guards the key, she is of the sky guards the record of the ages when the sky goddess lifts up her voice all shall end and all shall begin what do you think interesting little story isn't it i suppose all right well anyways guys i'll get back onto this one next time and um i hope to get back onto this because this is actually kind of kind of interesting and a little more Mega Man legends for me so until next time I will talk to you guys all later. See ya!